my heart's racing, my palms are sweaty. I feel like everyone's looking at me and I feel super uncomfortable. But I had to do this to demonstrate why the comfort zone is ruining your life. There's this weird thing I've noticed in my life where if I subject myself to more discomfort, I'm happier. But before we go into the video, you're probably wondering, why would you listen to a guy talking about the comfort zone who's in a hotel resort, sitting next to a swimming pool, looking quite comfortable? And the answer is you probably wouldn't. That's why at the end of the video, I'm gonna do something which is really uncomfortable for me, and I'll take you with me. But first, let me tell you a story about a boy afraid of water. So I'm six years old. I'm standing on the edge of the adult's pool. I've just been upgraded from the kid's pool and I'm nervous. I'm nervous because this pool has a deep end. You know the kind of deep where the water changes color into a darker blue? My dad, sensing my apprehension to go in, offers me a pack of Pokemon cards if I do a full length. Now I'm six years old. I love Pokemon cards. So I jump in and start swimming. I'm thrashing around. I make it about halfway. I get to the middle of the pool and I give up. I hold onto the lane rope. It's too much for me. Now I wish this was a story about a boy who faced his fear and his fear went away. But my fear didn't go away that day and it wouldn't go away for another 25 years. Now I kept swimming and over the years the deep end of the swimming pool got easier. But I still had this big mental block with the ocean, lakes or any deep bodies of water, particularly where you couldn't see the bottom. But I'm scrolling on YouTube one day and I come across a video which is by the National Geographic and it's a free diving video. I've never really seen anything like this before, but this guy, he's diving down what looks like 20, 30 meters. It looks so surreal. And the video is just mesmerizing me. At the end of the video, he's swimming with these, I think two whales. I'm watching it like, I really want to do that, but I can't. Not with my fear of deep water. That's just off limits for me. But five years ago, I was traveling through Asia, Thailand specifically, and I came across a freediving course. Knowing that it was something that I really wanted to do, I pushed myself and took the course. Now it was a two-day course, and the requirement to complete the course was to swim 10 meters down a line and touch a tennis ball. But the line went so deep that it would actually disappear into the abyss, which when I looked at it, would just make me feel sick. On the first day of the course, I was swimming down maybe two or three meters, freaking out, and going back up. And I was convinced I wasn't gonna pass the course. Somehow, I did manage to pass the course on the second day, but I knew I still had work to do. And five years later, I did another freediving course just this year, and then I did another freediving course just this week. And then something amazing happened. On the second day of the course, the instructors took us to see a school of sardines, and I managed to swim down 15 meters and see the sardines from the bottom, just a wall of changing silvery color. I felt super relaxed and it was one of the most memorable experiences of my life. Now, this isn't just a story about me going to see some sardines, but I did want to tell you about the sardines. It was a story to illustrate a point, and that is the comfort zone is ruining your life. And I wanted to draw a diagram to help explain this. So I've got my pen and pad, let's go. This is you. And this is your comfort zone. Now, within your comfort zone is your predictable routine your work, Netflix, video games, no real challenges. It may sound sweet, chilled, and it offers safety and stability, but ironically, by living this life of comfort, we are less healthy and happy. Why is that? Because the circle is a representation of what you can do in your life. It's literally your whole world. But guess what? You can change the size of the circle. How? By stepping outside the circle. So if you take a small step, and by taking a step outside your comfort zone, the circle gets bigger. Now you have a new comfort zone, but then you step out again and your comfort zone gets bigger and so on and so forth. Your life and all the possibilities and your world becomes larger as a result. Now imagine if I never jumped into that pool 25 years ago, or I didn't do those three courses that completely terrified me. Given that the world is two thirds water, I would only ever get to experience one third of it. And I'm even more proud of my fiance who is even more terrified of water than me. She only learned to swim at the age of 25 and she actually had a couple of near drowning experiences as a child. So I'm so proud of her for pushing herself to the edge of her comfort zone. And for doing so, she got to experience the magic of the sardine school. Now that's enough talk. Let's go do this big scary thing. And for that, I need to go to the airport. All right, 
This is my first time talking to camera in public. My heart's racing, my palms are sweaty. I feel like everyone's looking at me and I feel super uncomfortable. But I had to do this to demonstrate why the comfort zone is ruining your life. Now we've been over the benefits of getting out of the comfort zone, but we haven't spoken about the danger zone. So the danger zone is essentially getting out of your comfort zone too far and too quickly. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. So if we basically move from our comfort zone into our danger zone and it's too far out of our comfort zone, we tend to freak out and it can be a kind of traumatic experience and then we retreat back to our comfort zone and then never come out of our comfort zone again because it's been such a horrible experience, it scared us, it put us off. Now it's not just to do with fear-based activities, also things like going to the gym for example. So someone could have pushed themselves out. So someone may have pushed themselves out of the comfort zone by saying they're going to go to the gym five times a week, an hour each time. They go for about two weeks, but then they realize it's way too hard and they retreat back to the comfort zone of sitting on the couch. They go too hard too quickly and then they give up after two weeks and they retreat back into their comfort zone and they've been put off and they never get out of their comfort zone again. So the best way to avoid the danger zone is by doing it gradually. So let's take these videos for example. I started this YouTube channel four years ago and when I first started it was super uncomfortable even just recording in my bedroom speaking to a camera on my own. Then eventually get used to that uh, and then I got into doing voiceovers and narrations which was again slightly easier than what I'm doing at the moment basically just speaking to a microphone no camera on my face when I started this series behind the scenes weekly I started speaking to the camera directly no scripting just bullet points and me just talking being vulnerable after 14 weeks of doing this my comfort zone has grown and now I've upgraded myself to doing it in public which is yeah, it's on the edge of my comfort zone, like I don't feel comfortable right now, but I know if I keep doing it, it's just going to get better and better. And hopefully in doing so, it'll level up my videos because I'll be able to take my viewers on a journey with me to all these amazing places that I get to go to. As you can see, I've done it gradually to avoid the danger zone. So where do we go from here? Likely, if you're watching this video, you feel like there's something missing or lacking in your life or you want the boundaries of your world to be bigger. So I have three questions for you to help guide you in a direction. So one, am I happy with my current situation? Two, am I doing what I love daily? Three, am I feeling fulfilled? If you said no to any of those, likely the answer will be a step, a very small step outside your comfort zone. I hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you did, I think you'll really enjoy next week's video where I'm going super outside my comfort zone, but not into the danger zone. I'm going to be raw dogging a 13 hour flight from Bangkok to London. Basically that means sitting a 13 hour flight with no entertainment, no movies. Basically that means sitting on a 13 hour flight with no movies, no music, no entertainment, no nothing, just watching the in-flight map. It's gonna be a challenge, but we'll see how it goes. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. I'll see you next week. Keep training, keep living. Peace.